Thank you, Chairman. Welcome, Mr. Whitaker. Yes, sir. You know, you got a tiger by the tail. Yeah, I, I was going to speak on something else, and I am in a moment, but using airports for housing undocumented. That's a big deal. It's a big deal to the communities these airports are in. It's a big deal fiscally. It's a big deal for safety. And I know you're new, so I want to be fair. But we need you to drill down and tell us more what's going on. Please check thoroughly on this issue. I think it's a totally inappropriate use. Safety is our number one issue. It was never meant for housing any of these airports. There was a plan. Uh, and this is fact, it was leaked out by a whistleblower, uh, 10 different airports that they were gonna house illegals in. Of course, we got a hold of it. And Atlantic City International Airport, in my district, they were talking about housing up to 60,000 illegals in a community of 35,000 to 40,000 people. That's wrong. So I need some commitments from you to thoroughly drill down on this issue, to know how many airports are involved, a complete list of airports that are involved, a policy coming from the FAA. We need a policy from the FAA dealing with these requests and ensuring that the FAA is part of the process in determining if, where, and when this is going to be done. And we need a complete list of requests and from whom it came. I brought this up to Secretary Buttigieg when he was here. He wasn't aware of it. Of course, we have the information. I need you to do that. I would appreciate if you get that information back to me and the entire committee. Could you commit to getting us that information? I, I can commit to making sure that we're complying with the, the law around uh, any approvals. Mr. We Whitaker, I appreciate we, that, we, but we, we really don't, need... We don't own the airports, so I, we don't I know, really but control it, it deals, but you're a very important part of what happens at the airport. You should be included. You should be part of it. The people, quite frankly, of our districts, of our country should be part of it as well. So I ask you to please think about that, and I would ask you to please commit to doing that. It's not a big request. It's a real obvious thing, and I'm looking forward to that report. You know, last month, the fuselage of a domestic, domestic Boeing 737 MAX exploded open at 16,000 feet. I know you're real aware of it. There are 180 people on board. We are unbelievably blessed that nobody died, that there weren't injuries, that it wasn't much worse than it re the result that we had. This accident, in my opinion, in my opinion, is the result of decades-long process of globalization. In the early 2000s, Boeing aggressively outsourced its business model. The strategy peaked in 2005 with the sale of the Wichita-based Spirit Aero Systems. I know you're aware of that. Spirit Aero is now a, quote, global corporation. And it has been identified by the FAA as responsible. You all identified it as responsible for the faulty components behind the Alaskan Airlines incident. This is one example of how Boeing's outsourcing has led to Boeing's decline. And Boeing has hidden its decline, in my opinion, and many, by appealing to diversity, equity, and inclusion and for its investors, because it's a cool thing to be. And the investors that are interested in that were more likely to invest. And their stock, no doubt, has gone up 400% since their, their product has gone down, but their stock has go, gone up which is real interesting. You know, you should be worried about safety when you're selling private equity firms, but they were not. This is a one-two punch of globalization and social engineering. It doesn't belong. Job number one is safety. Job number one is safety for every man, woman, and child that go in those airports. Uh, and it's a company that is struggling to reliably produce, produce safe aircraft. Mr. Whitaker. Are you concerned by the trajectory of Boeing as an American institution? An American institution. Are you concerned? Uh, my concern is that Boeing makes safe aircraft. So I'm less concerned about externalities. I'm more concerned <clears throat> about the quality of the aircraft coming off the line. And that's well, focus. I would maintain it's part and parcel. They have a job to worry about safety, efficiency. Uh, and when you're worried about all these other issues and not the green economy and everything else, you should, you know, that should be your job number one. And I hope you have a plan to put him back on track. I sent you a letter in December about the FAA Technical Center, uh, and I would like to submit this record for the uh, for chairman for the record. 
The needs include national airspace systems, electrical utilities, and technology transfer programs. My time has run out. I wish I had a half hour with you. I appreciate you being there. I would hope that you would take my request seriously because the American public takes it seriously. And I thank you and wish you good luck.